Good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Uh, for some reason, I have to fix that. Um, but thanks for coming in. We are on the ninth podcast this year, which is a record. Uh, last year, I think. Nine. Yeah, number nine. I, I don't think we made it past like four uh, last time. Um, so I'm super excited to have this going on. Where are my names? I will work on those. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, that's why. I messed it up. Why do you have the Fortnite font for our Twitter? Um, that's a good question. That's a uh, that's not a me question. <laughs> um, but thanks for everyone for being here. Um, we're this. I am Todd McFarlane. That's why I was going to uh, fix the names here because I totally messed them up somehow. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I'm Todd McFarlane. I'm the coach uh, and esports coordinator for Steinmetz High School. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Daredrum underscore TJM. I need to fix that too on this one because it's a little low, so you can't see it. Um, but um, with me today is the greatest and one and only Keith Kennedy. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Kennedy from Golden High School. I'm the head coach and program director there, and I also manage the Rocket League series as well as the League of Legends side of the Winter Invitational happening this year. Uh, and again, we want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Um, just bear with, with me for a moment while I fix these things. But we're going to be talking about the Winter Invitational. Wait, preseason Invitational. I keep calling it Winter Invitational. but Same thing. Uh, yeah, as you guys like, I liked Winter, and then you guys like, no, we're going to go with preseason. I like Winter, too. Yeah, I, I, I like the, the Winter name, but hey, can't win them all. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. We'll talk a little bit about Rock League Finals. Uh, we might throw some other stuff in here. We have the IHSA uh, meeting coming up for the board on Monday. Um, we'll talk about a little bit about that and how that's going to hopefully go uh, and let everyone know what's going on. Um, but thanks for everyone for being there and hanging out. We have so much going on in esports right now. Uh, literally every day, uh, at least once a day, I get a new uh, school that registers on the IHSCA page. Uh, and then looking at the list on the IHSA page and seeing all the other programs out there that are contacting me about how do we do this and how can we do this and a whole bunch yeah, of stuff awesome. and updates. So we'll, we'll do that as well. Um, when we talk about the these preseason uh, invitationals, and we'll get you links if you want to sign up. Um, right now we have it says seventeen for league. I think Overwatch was a few less. Uh, let me pull up the Overwatch one too. Uh, Overwatch we still had eight teams sign up, so it's not too bad right now. Um, lots of teams still have to sign up. We still have plenty of time to get. Signed I haven't up. signed up yet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't sign up my league team yet, so I'm right in the same boat. I think some people were waiting, and like uh, I didn't have my. F- rosters well i almost had my roster set i had to check and see who was going to be available so now that that's a later date we will uh we'll work on that but i'll let you talk about the preseason invitation yeah well, actually first before we start there's a comment or a question chat talking about the rocket league side of things and when is a demo toxic i i've gone back and forth with uh todd and rusty admin about this and really it's if it's literally the only thing you are doing you are ignoring the ball and just demoing people. That's that's a little bit toxic. If it is for positional, if it's gameplay reasons, positional things, I've I know that I have whiffed the aerial, and then instead of going back for it, I just demo the goalie and get the goal. That's fine. But if it's literally the only thing you're doing, I have some problems with that. Okay, so the first thing that's coming up on the counter events that's coming up like this Saturday is the land finals for rocket league i put the link in chat um for the four teams that are going which are schomburg naperville central springfield and rockford guilford so uh we are starting at glowman high school which is in chatham illinois near springfield um and make sure you're pulling in the right space because uh we share land with the the elementary school and you don't want to go there (laughs) at uh noon on a saturday so Check-in opens at 11. The first match is going to be Naperville Central versus Guilford and starts basically once all teams are ready. So please don't roll in too late, please. Um, there's plenty to do if you like want to get lunch before then in Springfield. We're starting basically have eaten by the time you get there because we don't have food being provided. The way it's going to work is we have a full computer lab with 15 computers. For those of you who want to know, we're sponsored by MSI. They are... 9700Ks, RTX 2070s, 16 gig RAM, uh, SSD uh, hard drive. We have a 144 hertz curved 1080p monitor. And I haven't made these things overheat yet, so I really hope that doesn't happen. I've ran them for six hours at a crack and it hasn't happened yet. So 
Let's hope it doesn't happen. And then you're allowed to bring spectators. Spectators are fine. I'll talk about that later. So we have all peripherals there. We have keyboards, mice, mouse pads, headsets, all that stuff. If you want to bring your own, that's fine. However, every player must bring a headset, or sorry, a controller, because I don't have 15 controllers lying around. Right, actually 30 because we need spares for those who play on other systems as well besides one system. So bring your own controller with its cable. You need that. I can't really solve that problem for you. Along with this, players need to have with them their Discord account login info and access to that two-factor authentication. So email, whatever it is. Uh, and a Steam account. A Steam account with Rocket League on it. If you don't have that, you can't play because it's, well, a computer. Um, you also have to have a coach or other school staff or someone who is allowed by your school with you. This is an IHSEA policy, correct, Todd? Correct. Yep. We, you can't be there just have, with students. You need to have some adults because for spectators, we're being allowed to use classrooms. By the grace of God, I have bribed enough people in the building to let me use their room for spectators. And people do not like doing that, so... I need an adult there with each team, basically keep people in line. So spectators are allowed and encouraged. We have three classrooms for you to view the stream on. Please keep the amount of spectators reasonable and preferably under 20 because I only have three classrooms, four teams, yada, yada, math. Uh, and if you have anyone who wants to help cast the matches for the stream, please reach out to me. I know Springfield's local may have like 10 dudes who want to do it, but I don't want to make this just a Springfield thing because I can't really cast as I am, you know, adminning the whole thing. So Yeah, that's not possible. Uh, yeah, it's 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 hard. It was, it, League of Legends last year is interesting. So make sure if you guys have anyone who's interested in casting who's coming with you, just tell me. Like, please reach out to me on Discord or my email. I have the form as well. Okay. Anything else on Rocket League Finals, Todd? Uh, there was something I had. Um, they're bringing controllers. They're bringing cables. Um, are they f required to use uh, the chat server, the voice server on the IHSCA Discord? I wasn't going to mandate that because every school kind of has their own setup. Okay. And I know we don't have everyone verified. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I don't think Rocket League is a big a deal as Overwatch or uh league of legends with sniping because it's kind of way well, more fast-paced than that yeah like I, that's my concern about having the cast of uh, the, the stream in the room because it could be a thing but like you can't stream snipe rocket league you're, you're busy streaming at someone else yeah right yeah it's, it's, fast the game for that yeah the, yeah that's that's the one nice thing about that is that it's really hard to stream snipe um because of that so we'll have to figure that out solution for other events uh like fortnite um yeah because that, that'll so, be an interesting one to try and cast. Because that one can easily be stream sniped. Oh, yeah. That'd be very easy to stream snipe. Yeah. I mean, it'd be, um, yeah, it'll be easy for everyone. So we'll have to figure that out. Oh, yeah. So any other idea? Anything else for, for that part of this? Um, No, I think that that's it. I mean, congratulations to the four teams that are going. I kind of wish my team would have won, uh, would have won hey, last week. I but... wish my team was going because we're hosting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I mean, that was that was the way to convince my wife and, and the school to, you know, pay for me to go down there because I was going to have them pay for the bus. But uh, it's good we have four teams going, and um, we may have some weather issues, so teams leave a bit early because it's going to be sleeting maybe. So just just be careful. Yeah, hopefully no one's, not too many people are driving personally and it's all buses because they're a little bit, hopefully a little bit better to handle in the, in the sleep. Well, man, we hope. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then on to the winter invitational. Myself and Coach uh, McGee from Springfield are hosting the, almost said winter, the preseason invitational for IHSEA. It's a casual tournament online two days, January 4th and 5th. Uh, dates are hard. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday before everyone gets back from winter break, although certain people are back before then. That's me. <laughs> yeah. And Springfield. Uh, and so... So uh, those days, we're going to do an online invitational for League of Legends and Overwatch. I am managing the League of Legends side. The Overwatch side is being managed by Coach McGee. And there's sign-up forms that I forgot the links for. Oh, it's in the winter. Hey, what do you know? And everything's in there. It's a standard rule set for all both these games. We'll take rosters later once we get teams confirmed. 
And it's looking to be day one's gonna be group play. You'll play two, three, maybe four matches. Matches maybe best of twos. I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out. Uh, but a couple matches on the group play day. And then we'll take the top two out of the group or whatever, however it works out as once we have the team numbers sorted out and put them in a single elimination bracket afterwards. Uh, and that's just going to be casual online stuff. It's for teams to kind of figure out their their rosters and how do they work together to start the season. Yeah, I think this is a good opportunity for them to get their team set up if they haven't really had any competition yet to play games against, uh, as well as uh, get some good practice in right before uh, the season starts. Uh, we'll probably have a sign up for the actual real season coming up and all the information uh, either right before break or as soon as we come back, probably like right during or shortly after the Invitational, um, just to make sure we get everyone signed up because we do want to start up by the end of the year. So uh, look for information uh, late next week or during Christmas week or right before the Invitational. It will come out very soon. Uh, we'll definitely send out emails to those sponsors Um We'll send out messages in the Discord with all of that. So uh, if you're in here, make sure you let everyone know uh, to inform everyone else uh, about that, your friends, your coaches, yeah. uh, and everything about that. One thing I've seen that I want to bring up is for all these signups, this is the coach only. One per school. Have only the coach do it so we don't get five submissions from one school. Yeah, try to have your coach do it. That way we also have their contact information you don't have to worry about. Uh, I think there's one school we do have like four – Enter entries for uh, for them, and they're all students. So, yeah. So we uh, we we need to make sure that we are only having the coach sign up because it saves us all a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. And def- like I said, we'll definitely um, it's looking for it's usually uh, this is basically taking the place if you played in the past couple of years the Oswego Invitational. Um, Ed Can is super busy. He's got a new kid. He's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, right now so he had to back out but we didn't want to let it just disappear because it's such a great uh yeah, a chance really for for teams to uh to to get a you know a, a good grind session on two days of of full games of playing and we'll stream some games um i don't know if we're going to stream the entire time because we're also going to be having to admin the whole tournament but we will see uh i'll keep, I'll keep my stream live the whole time we'll just have a lot of long delays yeah well and the We'll we'll possibly like be able to jump into some different games and go from there and and see what's going around and jump around. Uh, uh, we may actually use both the IHSA one and two uh, Twitch channels too. Oh, and I figured maybe one would be Overwatch and one would be League. That's the only problem with having both simultaneous is that one would have to be dedicated to another, and then maybe have the championships for both on on one on Saturday, depending well, on how that goes. Championships might run at the same time. If that's the issue. Oh yeah, you're right. Eh, we'll figure depending it out. On, depending on how the bracket goes, one might finish before the other. We'll figure it out, right? Yeah, I'd say that's what this is for. This is the first time for doing this, and so I think last year we had how many teams were we last year? Was it? Uh, there was, I think, almost twenty for league and nine for Overwatch. I know there was nine. Because I made a video. Oh, yeah, Over- was, Overwatch uh, was really I'm, small, but um, I'm making a video again this year. Oh boy, I gotta uh, put out info for that once we get teams set up. Yeah, that should be good. So, like last year, we had uh, a overlay. Or not overlay. We had like a video going over the highlights and stuff. And uh, also, yes, there's going to be. You guys can stream your own games. However, uh, need to keep in mind that uh, you need to keep a delay on. Otherwise, it's all on you. If you don't put a delay on, we can't do anything to save you. Right, so if you're with League of Legends, at least, it gives you the three-minute delay unless you're streaming yourself play. Um, then we highly suggest you put a delay through OBS or through uh, whatever your streaming software is, or even on Twitch, I think you can put a delay, an automatic delay on uh, as well. Uh, or um, Overwatch definitely having a delay on no matter what spectator is on, whether it's you or someone spectating your team, or if you allow them to spectate the whole game. Um that's that's up to you guys and it's really uh it's kind of you know important that you take care of your own streams if you're gonna do it no matter whether you publicize it or not or you just want it up there for the vod to watch later to practice 
Um, just make sure you take care of your stuff because for this tournament in particular, if they stream snipe you, we're not going to do much about that. Um, and then we'll talk about that more for the regular season. But for this tournament, it's more of a friendly, casual tournament. Not, you know, winners aren't really getting too much, um, you know, besides the practice that, that you get from, you know, and then the clout that you get from winning the entire thing. And so. the whole goal of this preseason invitational is really to figure out your teams. It's, 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 we're not doing this for a big trophy. We're not doing this for big prizes. It's really to figure out how your players work together and how you can improve as a team. Yeah, and then maybe we can even ask some teams if they want on the second day have a losers final, um, where they Man, don't go you're up. Speaking but for it's... me here, what was that? You're speaking for me here. I'm. Just, I just thought of it right now. Just that way, if they lose out the first day, they if they want to, they can opt in for like a, you know, they do the Timo Cup for the colleges. Are you gonna be online to help me? <laughs> uh, I should be online those days. Yeah, but I, I mean, like you know, and then we'll have to figure out how that would go. But that will totally be like unofficial, like. Play out. Here's the bracket. If you want to play it out, do it. If not, then you know what's the point. So we'll have to see what the interest is after day one. If they want to, or you know, maybe when we get rosters, we'll send out a quick question and see if they want to do like a a losers bracket just to have some more games the next day. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the event. It sounds awesome. Um. I can't wait for it. Uh, Space Hunter, it's teenagers. They're gonna stream snipe. Like there's people who stream snipe streamers. Like that. There's you know, it's just because they want to be the best. They they can have a third or you know uh, or sixth or seventh man watching what's going on and then relaying back to their team or they're all on the same Discord call. Um, that's the problem with not doing live events is that you can't really control who's watching. And who's talking to them? Whereas, like Riot, you know, they have their own closed system for communication between the teams, so you can kind of easily control it. So, um, but with us, we just want to make sure that no one is stream sniping. Even though you say, "Oh, it's just you know high schools and they're invitational," they'll still do it because they want to win. Yeah, but uh, we don't have too much to talk about to that. Um, go ahead and throw in any other questions uh, about the Invitational or about Rocket League and that. We'll come back around to them. Uh, we'll make notes of them and then come back around to them. But I wanted to talk about how uh, everything is going um, for the state tournament. So uh, on Monday the 16th, me and I think about seven or eight other uh, people on the IHSA advisory committee is going to present to the board of directors of the IHSA uh, and talked about how uh, esports could be beneficial to our students and how you guys enjoy it so much. So we're really looking That's forward awesome. to uh, presenting to them uh, because then they would make the final decision whether or not it becomes an official activity so that once that happens then we'll have a lot more buy-in from schools, uh, we'll have a lot more uh, interest from people wanting to coach it. Um, cause at that point, you know, people are almost guaranteed stipends, um, because it's an official IHSA activity. And that usually is written into most, uh, contracts for teachers and things like that. So, uh, I know I already talked to, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but, um, I already talked to the CPS sports admin and we're, you know, trying to make headway with them, uh, about this. So, but we'll present on uh, Monday the 16th, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um, we'll, we'll state our case and let them know all of the good things that come out of esports and how popular it is. And um, hopefully we will uh, prevail and they'll, they'll put it on the ticket to vote um, to make an activity for hopefully next year. We'll see how it goes. Look forward um, to hearing about it. That, that's the idea. Um, the date for the propo- the board proposal, uh, well, we don't, it's not for the proposal. We're just presenting to them on the 16th. Uh, they probably wouldn't vote on anything until the next month. They'd have to take it back, have follow-up questions, probably send some emails. Um, but, uh, more than likely they would talk about it and discuss it to actually be officially voted on in January's meeting. So hopefully all goes well. It's a good group of people presenting. Um, Greg Gardner, if you're here from, uh, uh, why am I spacing on what school he's from? I can't help you. 
Why am I spacing on what school he's from? I know it's you and uh, Amy Whitlock from... Yeah, uh, me, Amy. Um, we have another guy uh, from Jacobs High School. Uh, Isn't there one from Normal somewhere? Yep, Zach Gilbert, if you're here from uh, Normal. Let me look up that board right now. I totally forgot where everyone's from. Um, but there's like eight of us that are going to be presenting. Um, there's like 16 of us on the board... Um, and if you didn't already notice, there is an actual uh, link on the IHSA website for esports. So if you click on sports and activities, uh, esports has its own page now. Um, even though it's not official yet, we wanted to get everything started on there. And of course, it's taking forever to load. There we go. Sandberg High School. Before I even pulled it up, I remember. Oh, Sandberg. Yeah. I was like, I know where it is. I I see his tweets What's and everything the all the time. Goes by? What was that? What's the username he goes by? Uh, he doesn't really post much in here, but he's like uh, AD Greg, I think, uh, on our Discord. But his uh, I think he's just Greg Gardner on Twitter. Uh, uh but yeah, Greg Gardner from there. Uh, Mike, uh, it's Mike Jacobson from Richards High School. Uh, me, Amy, from Oswego East. You guys all know Amy. Uh, Zach Gilbert, who's from uh, Normal High School. Uh, I'm forgetting who else is coming. One thing that's really funny about esports in general is that you will always know someone by their screen name, whether you know them by their actual name. Oh yeah, that and that's a very that's a very unique thing to esports compared to most regular sports. That yeah, that's that's the only issue is that it's like oh wait, who is that? What's their screen name again? And or what's their real name? I know them. Or I talk to them so much, <laughs> and then they reach out to you on like LinkedIn or something else, and you're like. Who are you? I don't know you. And they're like, oh yeah, I've been talking to you for six months. I'm like, oh yeah, I totally didn't. You, didn't, you with the face, yeah. Didn't realize it. I, I keep my my username on literally everything the exact same. Well, like, you have numbers like, in your username, so it's easy for well, you. The the problem is somehow on Steam, Rogue Leader zero nine six was taken, but ninety six wasn't. <laughs> So I have 90, it's the only service where it's different. It's different by one number, and I forget every time I go to log into Steam. I was so mad uh, that Riot changed their login system. And oh, you yeah. had to update your login username because now it's global. Because by the time, I like I literally got it the day that it went out, but it was a few hours later, my username was already gone. I'm like, oh, they already rolled that process back as well. Did they? Yeah, they reverted that whole thing. Well, I think I still log in with the new one. Well, it was such a mess, and everyone's going like, we already have the League of Legends thing, just make it the Riot thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like, why would you have to change it when you already have a system for that? Unless it is truly global. That's the only reason why I can see, like, if you... NA and EU and all that jazz. Right, if you're logging in Korea, you just have one login for your whole account. The thing um, is, you actually can't get the Korean account without a Korean social security number. I mean, that makes sense, but I was just using them for example. Well, you're wrong. You're right. <laughs> um, uh, there were some questions uh, from winning tournaments, uh, CM Lightning. Uh, depending on what uh, tournament it is, like the Invitational is not going to have anything. Uh, the Rocket League tournament, we're going to look at getting some trophies for. Um the League of Legends, Overwatch, and Fortnite will all have some kind of trophies and things like that for them. Um, and then it's just also a way for you to get your skills out there so that colleges can see you, professionals can see you. We've had, you know, a couple semi-pro or almost pro players now. We've have, uh, I just saw, uh, who is it? Uh, Clam Sparkle. Um, I think he played for Oswego East. Yeah, he did. Where do you end up? Uh, he's at Purdue. Awesome. So he's playing for Purdue. Um, my, one of my former players is right now playing for DePaul, who just won their Big East Invitational tournament. Sweet. So they they are the Big East preseason champion. So they're actually, I think, in the Midwest, they're ranked like either, I think they're number two behind Maryville right now because uh, I think Maryville Illinois took a, really a big hit. Team. But they're a really good team. My, the, their mid laner is, he used to play top lane for Taft. So he was, uh, he was really good. Oh, jeez. Um, there were some other questions. Uh, there should be no schools playing tonight that I know of. Everything should be done. Nope. Nothing's playing tonight. Yeah, we don't have anything. Rocket League finals, uh, this weekend, but that's about it. Um, 
board proposal. Uh, more Kraken said there's only four teams signed up for Route 66. That's that's unfortunate. Uh, I I I wanted to sign up the 66 games, but my uh, my ADC is in Italy, so. Who in Italy uh, in the middle of January? Yeah, ah. he's there for two weeks. Wow. Yeah, no, I. I thought that I was going to go. I don't know yet. I got to figure it out at home, too, because it's like that's chaperones and hotels, and it's like that's a lot more thing, and I don't know if my school wants to do that or if my kids even want to. I only have five League of Legends players, so if one of them doesn't want to do it, then or one of them, their parents don't want them to do it, then we're kind of out of that one. Although it's it's affordable, and I do want to see their setup. I might go down and be a presenter um, for that. So, um, there's a bunch of the state organizations that are having people present at that, at the... If the, you want me to come, I can, because it's a normal, it's pretty close for me. Yeah, it's, if I can't make it, for sure, then I'll definitely, um, see, I'm gonna yeah. try and swing down there, because it's, it's three hours, it's a little ways, but maybe I can come Even down there for a little bit. can't make it, I for sure can. Yeah, no, I, I think they're growing it the right way, it's just hard for schools to get there, like, if they were to offer something for transportation, or... You know, discounted hotel. I mean, I think the hotel rates are actually extremely cheap. I think it was like what they posted yeah. was like seventy something bucks, and I'm like, that's super affordable. You still have to get like three rooms or four rooms, so which is gonna be a fun time. Yeah. So, um, yeah, for Fortnite for Steinmetz, we'll be um, finalizing teams probably next week to see who's actually gonna be eligible, um, just so we can get our twelve guys down for for Simex so we have kind of a bunch of people in and out some people that have been practicing that aren't eligible due to grades and we'll see if they well, are, fun. are able to bring them up by next week um do, do you keep the standard ihsa passing five classes uh i do passing six at least so if they're failing two classes they are ineligible oh you guys have a nine period class day no we have eight okay so eight periods they have one lunch so they have seven oh. actual periods Okay. So they we, could be failing we have a one. Pattern of doing study hall here as well. Yeah, we don't have study. We don't. They don't let us take anything that's not an actual class in CPS. Uh, that's there's no study halls. Be. There's no blow off classes. Like I mean, there are a few, but they basically fill up your schedule. No matter whether you need one class to graduate or seven. So. Yeah. Um, our team does not fundraise. We luckily have an after school grant that pays for most of our. Uh, tournament fees because they're minimal um and we're still just trying this is only the second year for being a full esports program before that they were just kind of a, a social basically a smash club um who really didn't get out much um like for, for the high school scene so uh we'll probably start a little bit more next year but i want to kind of get a firm ground i want to do a few events this year to kind of promote us um, as a school and trying to recruit some more kids to us uh, by doing some of these events so that people see uh, what's going on and uh, there's some things in the pipeline that are going to be working for Steinmetz in the near future um, so that hopefully we'll be able to attract some more kids and grow the program and then you know start this fundraising and start from there yeah fundraising as I don't tell you because my guys are uh, my guys basically we pay just a small fee like 20 bucks to just for a part of the team so I can pay for tournaments and the district covers a lot of other stuff yeah uh, mouse and keyboard at the finals, they're crap. It just comes with a tower. It's a uh, okay membrane keyboard and a quote unquote gaming mouse. So it exists, but if you play on mouse and keyboard, I'm actually kind of amazed, but also bring your own. Oh, I think that was the other thing I was going to ask you as well. Do you have all of the? Um, do you have all the drivers for um, like Razer and? Well, Razer Synapse not allowed to be installed in my machines because that thing refused to let half the things you want to run open. It is <laughs> bloatware, and everything else is basically just control of uh, of lighting, which is unnecessary. Yeah, I understand. Like I, I know, like on my Logitech control engine, I use certain keybinds, and I'll allow that. But the one I will not allow is Razer. It caused us a three-hour delay at the state finals last year for Overwatch. I am not allowing. <laughs> That makes sense. <clears throat> such a such a mess. Uh, 
League JV, what do they get for winning? I don't um, know. League JV, they I think only the uh, tournament winners would get something if they even get anything at all. Um, we're trying to structure the JV tournament as not really focusing on a champion for JV because um, many sports don't have like claim a city or state champion for JV. They play their uh, their non tournament games or their non uh, what am I thinking non non conference uh, non conference. Thank you non conference games and they play their uh, conference games and then that's the end of their season. Like most of them don't have a playoffs, um, so we're kind of gonna go that route this year. Um, and then maybe do like a, a four fun playoff that, you know, it doesn't mean anything and just, you know, or just continue the season for an extra two weeks. Uh, if there's a discrepancy at the top, trying to see who the grand champion is or, you know, do something like take the top two teams and just have them go at each other and, and see how it goes. Just cause we, we don't want to focus on the JV so much. We want to give you guys practice time. Um, so you can make that push to go towards the varsity. Um, but then also help out with varsity if they need help with coaching or something else as well. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I need uh, uh, Razor Synapse because I use a uh, Orb Weaver as my keyboard. Oh, you're weird. Yes, I am. So I, I um, oh, some quick comments. Uh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Wow, that's great. Rocket League. Oh, jeez, I Legends. forgot entirely to say. Oh, JV. We're not doing JV for the Invitational. Yes. Because I don't have the time of day for that. I I I need. An extra two people in an extra three days throwing a JV and varsity tournament the full size that I want to. So that's not going to happen. And for those of you who are commenting the peripherals, I have a Corsair K70 and a Logitech G502. I've run through like 10 other mice, but I I will never not use a G502. Things amazing. And then I have not gaming headphones because they're actually nice. Um, for, well, yeah, we're definitely not going to conflict with NACEF. NACEF's game days is Wednesday, um, because I already asked them, um, because I didn't want to conflict, and... Is it Wednesday patch day? Yes. And I even brought up, hey, is it patch day? And they're like, well, we made these in the bylaws, like, last year, and they never really came up, and I don't know how big, how their tournament went last year, if it was Wednesdays or if it was a different day, but I was like, I just, just letting you know, we did that last year, and it was kind of a disaster, because it was patch day, and... You know, every other week it was kind of pretty crazy. And there'd be matches starting 30 minutes later, so usually. Yeah, matches starting late and uh, brand new champions that come out that you have no idea what's going on. So, yeah, I think so, yeah, uh, I don't have the calendar up in front of me, but we, League is definitely not on Wednesdays. I think uh, we're looking at Thursdays. We haven't decided yet, but I think we're looking at Thursdays. I th- yeah, I think it was looking at, yeah, I think it was Thursdays. I think Wednesdays was possibly Overwatch. Yeah. Because we couldn't do Overwatch on Thursday or Friday. And then Fortnite was... Monday, Tuesday, cram it in. I think, yeah. And... I don't think we can add... I don't think we can accomplish much more than that with the size of the staff we have currently. Yeah. I mean, I put a, a call out there for anyone else who wants to help, and I got two people that replied back. Um, but we're definitely looking for more people to get back to us if they wanted to help out. So... Let us know if you have time or energy to put into... Um, our league and you know no matter what it is whatever you teach um like i said we're looking for graphic designers and people to do journalism work and you know if you just want you have a hobby you want to help out with and help guide some kids to the right thing um that's what we're looking for yeah we always appreciate help hell i just i just stopped in last year and they would i didn't leave and they let me stay yeah that's kind of what he's like hey i'm gonna do this for you guys and we're like all right go for it <laughs> <laughs> And last and year was I, your first year. Like, you jumped in right at the beginning, or? Yeah, well, I, I, I hopped in. I suddenly, like, went from coaching to casting the Oswego Invitational on day one. And I'm like, hey, I'll make a video. Yeah, sure. And then I started adminning it. And then then I just asked, hey, can I join? And Can's like, eh, he works just fine, I guess. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that we did have you, because you do take care of a lot of stuff that no one else has time for yet. Because I don't have anything else to do. Okay, I have a lot of things I should be doing. Stop that. Like I know putting away those thinking. tissues and cleaning up those boxes behind you. Hey, 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 hey! It's the Amazon box. It, it's it's the pile of Amazon boxes that I totally uh, gonna use to wrap uh, Christmas presents. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, the the presents I'm totally going to buy. <laughs> uh, Mark Kraken was asking about Fortnite rules. Uh, they're gonna be very similar to the, what they use for the World Championship. Um, there's gonna be duos uh, for the course of the season, and then culminating again like we always do in a land event for. Their, 
I think we said top 16, maybe. Um, hey, 16 yeah, players, what, whatever, eight, eight duos. Ends up working out. Yeah, he hasn't finalized the rules yet. I actually have to talk to him this week. Um, but in charge of that is uh, McGee. So if you want to talk to, um, if you want to talk to to him to get a heads up about it, um, he is Springfield coach McGee. Yep. Or I think he goes by SPHS on the server. SPS. SPS. I'm not Where sure. Where on the server? I can't check. Because then I kill your video. By SPR. Yeah, he goes by SPR coach McGee. Yeah, but you can reach out to him. He can, if if he's willing to, he can show you shoot you the tentative rules. Um, but we're still working on it. Um, I think I'm gonna meet with talk with him this weekend. I gotta find out what his availability is. He's playing Smash right now at his event. Nerd. Um, grade requirements are similar to IHSA. So uh, two, um, if they have two failing grades, they are ineligible. To make it easy on my, because I'm I'm owned by Athletics for my program. Uh, to make it easy on them, I just said, can we just hold athletics requirements? Because it's yep. one, a one-click grade report for my uh, the athletics uh, secretary. Yep, and that's kind of what we are trying to do, too, is it's, it's the same standards we hold them. Although our school is doing uh, really crazy where if they have one F, they're ineligible. And I'm like, that's not smart. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there, there's been some interesting... Interesting eligibility stuff. Oh, you mean for like actual grade level more tracking? You have a sixth grader. Um, oh, oh, whoa. I don't know. We'll have to check on the rules on that and see. That's right, because you're from a you're from a school that has like all you're levels. You're combined uh, six twelve, right? Yeah, I think they're six twelve. Um, yeah, I have to check and see what our ruling is going to be on that because I know seventh grade starts to get a little bit closer to the age we're looking for, but how old are they in sixth grade? Like 12? 10, 10 to 11? 5? Yeah, I'll we'll have to look into that because they might be a little bit under the age where we want them participating with a bunch of possible 18 year olds. Um, and that would yeah, be. Yeah, that's concern there. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, if you haven't reached out to. Um, Zach Gilbert from uh, Normal. Um, he's trying to get middle school uh, gaming together. So if you want to reach out to him and say that you do have... Because you actually would be a good candidate for it because you have a really big club, especially with your underclassmen. Um, talk to him and that way he can talk to your kids about possibly putting together middle school leagues because I've had four or five people respond to us being like, hey, what can we do for middle school? And I'm like... We're still trying to figure out high school. Um, we'll get back to you, but Zach is trying to do a lot of stuff because he teaches middle school. Um, that's crazy that the sixth grader is that good that he needs uh, some better competition. So it's awesome. Yeah, definitely uh, reach out to him and then uh, definitely send an email to us. Um, that way I can put it on my agenda to talk about with uh, the staff and the admin. Yeah. Sounds really cool. Um. Anything else? I don't think so. That's what I was just going to ask you. Is uh, I don't really got much else on my mind besides I want to go play Modern Warfare. <laughs> <sighs> I have a problem, okay? You do have a problem. I will, I don't want to get into it because I know I'll probably just get sucked in because my friend's been playing and he's like, oh, we should hang out and play Modern Warfare because we can jump in, we can jump out. If the kids start crying, we can just disappear and it doesn't matter. I bought it on Saturday and I put in 10 hours and two, two and a half days. You're lucky you have finals this week and not actual like next, grading. I wish you have finals next week. I mean, well, I get the last test tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, but luckily you're not, you know, you still have vacation to get ready for, which is nice. Do you guys go all next week or are you guys only? Uh, we go all next week. Okay. Uh, Monday, Tuesday is normal school and then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is finals. You have three days of finals? Do they, are they full days for the kids or no? It's full days, but it's hour and a half sessions with 30-minute passing periods basically to get the next class and study. That's not bad. 30-minute so passing like, periods is pretty sweet. It's like periods 3, 7, and 6 on the first day, 2, 5, 8 in the second day, and 1, 4 on the third day. That's bad. Not bad. Like The way that we do it in most CPS schools, it's either like odds and evens or you get an hour to do a final and that's it. My first semester last year, uh, three seven six was 
prep lunch study hall. So I just didn't have anything to do the entire day. Yeah. And all my grading was caught up on because I'm like, I have to get grading done for finals. Right. You had so, the whole day to do it sitting at school. So, but so, so like I finished it in an hour and kind of just looked at my desk and went, well, what now? That's when you bring the switch in and be like, okay, well, let me uh, grant some time out. No, I, uh, I took care of schoolwork. I got, uh, I tried to like make up a new class to keep myself busy. Oh yeah, yeah! Uh, congratulations to Naperville North, uh, who oh, yeah. who won the national NASEF tournament. Uh, they're going to they, be they, going they, to they California. They won central. They they're going to nationals. They won the central division. Right. Well, yeah, they won the. Yeah, right, right. They won the the central division for NASEF. Um, but yeah, they're gonna be going to California in January um, to compete for the national champion. So congratulations to them. Totally forgot about that. Thank you, uh, Lil Lucio. Let's represent Illinois really well. Yep. I already told him if they need an extra body to come and chaperone, I'm available. <laughs> he says he has already too many volunteers. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Because they have like seven coaches, so. Well, they also have a bunch of parents are interested yeah. in going. I, that, that's going. good, though. Hopefully, they, I know they had to raise some money. Um, I don't know what they have to pay for, which is another probably big shock to them, um, having to pay to go out there or pay anything for out there. But. And hopefully they. I'm hoping they take it all home and then bring some recognition back to Illinois. Yeah. It's uh, it's 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 gonna be really cool to see if we can take home a national championship for Illinois. Yeah, I I think they have a good shot. I mean, they'll definitely put us on the map. Oh yeah. Oh, wow, you guys place fourth. Yeah, I know that they're they're pretty much gonna. Hope, you know, I, I assume they're gonna run away with the state tournament here. Um. As well. Hey, 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 no. For Overwatch, yeah, it's tough to beat them. They actually have, oh, like it, it is. They're really strong. They're really strong and really deep. Yeah, so, he has six GMs, which is terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that they're all at that one school is kind of crazy. It's awesome though. It's really awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, but other than that, I think that's that's about it. If you guys have any other questions, hit up hit us up on Discord. I can't even talk anymore. Uh, hit us up on Discord. Uh, I'm hoping to be back next Wednesday as well. Are you good for next Wednesday? Uh, the first day of finals, I can make it happen. Okay. Um, we'll talk. We'll probably recap Rocket League. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can have some clips to show for the champion. Oh, God. I got to go hunt through that, don't I? Well, I mean, you're going to be there streaming it on Saturday. so. Yeah, I'll have to go hunt through the VOD. I'll just rip the VOD for that. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, we'll definitely have, be able to talk about that, and then we'll talk about possibly the next season launch and anything else we have for you guys. And then you know, invitationals coming up, uh, holidays are coming up. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be cast or uh, podcasting on Christmas. Uh, probably not. New Year's Day, probably not either. No. But possibly New Year's Day. We'll see. Well, the um, one after New Year's Day is going to be the wrap-up from the Invitational. Right, yeah. So we'll probably do New Year's Day just to get everyone ready for Invitational. Probably for be one. Because then I have to go back to school the next day. So Weirdo. It's not, it's not my fault. No, uh, it kind of is. Uh, no. My one vote didn't matter much in the 20,000. <laughs> not that I would have voted differently, but... All right, well, I think that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, those that are left, uh, if you guys have any other questions, again, just shoot us a message on Discord, uh, and we'll get that answered. And then uh, join us again uh, next Wednesday. We'll be here around 8.15. Uh, thank that's you, awesome. Keith. Yep. Uh, for joining me. Um, do you have something else to say or no? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, thank you for joining me again today. And then uh, I guess we'll see you guys all uh, next week.